All right, so I'm just getting started on this back bedroom slide here. I'm going to go through the whole process we did on the front one. With the exception of the slide out the skin, it's going to go from here to here. I'm going to put a, a, a brace in here and then up and across. Well, up to here actually. Anyways. Um, and then this area in here, which is the big gaping void at the moment, is um, <clears throat> the uh, radiator header tank and uh, oil fill, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be under a, a, uh, a door that I'm going to build into that, that area. So, I have to put all the angle around there like I did the front for the seal to run on. You know, all, all the way around this area here, that inch and a quarter angle all has to go in here. So, anyways, that's what I'm going to get started on here now. And I'm also, some of the more eagle eye of you <laughs> have probably noticed that there are some warping, or not really warping, it's just uh, some, some of the skin isn't 100% smooth. So the rivets are pulling in a little bit too far on some of these. So what I'm going to do when it's all all skinned out, I'll go along and anywhere that it's noticeably uh, pulled in, I'll just uh, pop some of the rivets out, put a little spacer in behind the between the skin and the frame behind it, and then re-rivet it. But I'll do that once it's all the whole thing's done and. And take a look at it and see what's uh, you know what's noticeable and what's not. There's a big there's a spot right right in here which I can see. I'm not really sure sure but yeah. So there you go. You can kind of see it there and uh, a few spots like that. So I'm just gonna I'll just knock those rivets out um, in the future. When just you know when I get basically everything built and uh, deal with those before I. Uh, before I prep it for paint for paint. So anyways. Here we go. Slide number two. I'm using my phone for this one because my tablet's in the in the bus, but all ready to start putting some aluminum on this thing. The uh, Angle all installed. This up in here is going to be a little tricky for seals. It's going to work, but it's going to be a little tricky. Clean that mess up yet. Anyways, 8 o'clock. Start, uh, start on it again tomorrow. This uh, front half here is where I'll have a access door for the uh, filling the rads or the cooler, oil, power steering, and uh, dipstick. So I'll be in that uh, in, a, in a door in this area here. Anyways, I'll start on that tomorrow. Oh, well, here we are with the lower skin below the uh, slide out on. It's a lot of trimming and whatnot, but it's in there now. I'm just going to get ready to just going to start popping some rivets in it. Well, <clears throat> I might just clico it for now. Probably better. I'll just drill it, drill it, clico it. And then when I get this upper panel on, on the uh, slide out, then rivet it, does it matter? Eh, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Anyways, there's the uh, opening for the uh, door. 
for all the engine, uh, servicing the engine. I'll uh, build a door for that afterwards. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to uh, do some drilling on here and pleco it into place, like I said. And then start in the upper on the slide out skin. Okay, so there's the lower section all riveted on. All the way around the perimeter uh, here. All the way around that perimeter will have that trim on it, so I'm not going to put any rivets in there. So, just have bare minimum of rivets in right now. And I want to put the rest of the, the upper slide or the upper the slide uh, skin on it, which I'm going to start on now. Then, um, then I'll decide how many rivets did I put in down here. Doesn't look like much, but it's 14 hours of work to get to that point. A lot of fiddly fiddle farting around. Well, that's as far as I got tonight. On the one lower panel on back there, click it in place. I'll do the other. Hopefully, you get the whole, the whole thing all uh, skinned up tomorrow. But we'll see. It's a tricky one. Anyways. Tomorrow's another day, about 10 o'clock, so I've had enough. Alrighty, so just getting ready to pull this lower section off. It's all drilled and and uh, everything, so just getting ready to pull that off. Finish, put the uh, sealant and whatnot on the back side, and then put it back up and rivet it. And I just have that... Uh, piece of aluminum stuck in the hole there that's going to be the door so that'll uh, all the engine um, supply coolant all that kind of stuff like I said before will uh, in, be in behind there and uh, yeah so I'll take another one of these in a few minutes when I got this all routed up all right so Lower skin is all riveted on. Windier than the son of a gun out there. No power hasn't gone out yet, but it's flickered a couple times. I don't know if we're, whether it'll stay on all night or not. But anyways, uh, I put a couple of little pieces of this molding on the bottom here. This is just the sample. It doesn't actually fit right, but at least it gives you the idea. So it's going to sit over the one I'm actually having made up only has a three quarter inch lip on it so it won't stick up quite so far and um, anyways so that's kind of the idea of what it'll look like when it's when it's done I think it'll give it a nice finished edge and um, keep that lower or that edge of the uh, aluminum up nice and tight plus give the uh, the seal something fairly decent to uh, to seal against anyways we're gonna start on the top here now and we'll see how far we get see if the power lasts all right so now we got the window out I was just starting to do the um, the upper skin here and I decided to spend a little bit of time aligning this uh, this slide out so this side this side is right where it needs to be this is the forward edge I'm a little close to me you may not be able to tell uh, very well but anyways there's there's the 
the gap, nice gap, all the way up here, and uh, it's all good. It's you know it lines up uh, the, the skin with the outside of the you know the two, the two pieces. It lines up good on that end. This end is uh, I don't know if it shows up in here or not. Uh, see so if I can get a little bit better light. Anyways, it's in about a quarter of an inch too far. So I'm going to go and adjust the stops on the back edge of it here to stop it with this uh, this edge out a quarter of an inch. So I just got to go in and inside and adjust that and uh, try and get that lined up better. And then I'm going to. Uh, Get back on this uh, this upper part of the the slide. To have the upper piece of um, angle in here. Now fits good, gaps good, everything's all good there. It's just clamped in there right now. I'm going to uh, weld it next, or you know, next after the last next. Anyways, <laughs> and uh, and then. Uh, Try and get it to uh, get this side of this one finished up. But um, right for the next little bit, slide out adjustment and alignment. Fun stuff. Well, I guess I should have explained how I was doing this rather than just going ahead and doing it. That took about 15 minutes. Um, so because this, these cables are one pulls and one pushes. Basically, I was able to just loosen one cable off, tighten the other one up on this back side, and um, and then that cocks the, the the whole slide out in the in the opening. So it's uh, fitting in there much nicer now. So I'll go up inside for a second here and kind of show you where I adjusted it at. I don't know how much the light's not very good in here, but basically what I was able to do was loosen this one off. And this is the the one that pulls it in, and I was pulling in too far, so I loosened that one off and tightened this one up back here. So that just repositioned where it stopped at. And uh and then that, that then lined this. Now you can't see it. So I've got a mic coming for my external mic coming for my phone. So I'll start using that again because at least it's got the light on it. Uh, hopefully that'll fix the audio problem. Anyways, so pretty simple fix. Hope it made sense. So I'll start uh, putting this uh, side skin on now. Okay, so got the last piece of or the upper piece of aluminum uh, just uh, clamped in place there right now. And I'm kind of thinking about not putting a window in there. But I don't know if it's going to look goofy or not. There'll be nothing for windows down the side, the whole side of the bus, except for the two at the front. <clears throat> I might end up putting a small one in the kitchen and in the bathroom right you know in this area here but they'll just be small ones so kind of thinking about not putting one there but I'm not sure uh, I'm going to go up inside for a second and explain why okay so this is the bedroom slide and if I don't put a window there, then all across that area there, I can put cabinets um, and 
put uh, you know end tables up the end and uh, you know a cabinet up the side same thing on this side I'll put an end table you know here anyway but up the side here I can have cabinets and across the you know across the, the above the bed that kind of thing I can have uh, you know quite a bit of cabinetry in there kind of like what you typically would if the bed was lengthwise along the back of the bus usually the back is, is built like that well this one's gonna have a closet there so you know I can have drawers and anyways what, however I end up building that so I can do that if I don't have a window there put the window in then yeah, that's fine too I have uh, end tables on either side that'll be in the center Eh, stinking alarm went off. Shut the recording off. Anyways, uh, so I don't know. So what I'm. Anyways, I'm gonna go back outside. So that's what that's gonna look like if I don't put a window in there. The whole side of that thing's gonna be just solid. Well, it'll be painted, but it's still gonna be you know not, no windows or anything back there. I just worried about it looking a little bit goofy. So, anyways, so what I thought I'd do, I thought I'd ask your guys' opinion. If you have any opinions, let me know. Leave them in the comments, and I'll, uh, I'll think about it. And I'll look forward to some, some comments, some ideas, and, uh, you know, before I make a final decision, I was going to wait to to post this next video until that was you know that slide out was done but uh, I think I'll wait I'll ask you know wait for some comments and I'll think about it a little bit and then uh, and then we'll start another video so anyways we'll call that it for this one